So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to search and type in Task Manager. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to make sure that Epic Games Launcher is closed. You might need to scroll down to find it, but once you find Epic Games Launcher, you want to right click on it and then click on End Task. Then you want to head over to the Details tab and then do the same thing. If you see Epic Games Launcher, you want to right click on it and then click on End Process Tree. And then in the bottom right of your desktop, you want to click on the arrow. And if you see Epic Games Launcher again, you want to right click on it and then click on Exit. Now for the next step, you want to head over to Search again and type in Epic Games Launcher. You want to right click on it and then click on Open File Location. Then once you find Epic Games Launcher again, you want to right click on it again and then click on Open File Location. Now you want to find the Epic Games Launcher.exe file. You want to right click on it, click on Properties and then head over to the Compatibility tab. And then you want to tick Run This Program in Compatibility Mode. And then take the same full screen optimizations and run this program as an administrator and then click on OK. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in percent app data percentage and then click on enter. Now once you're on this, you want to click on app data and then local and then Epic Games Launcher and then click on saved. Now you want to delete the web cache folder. Now you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed. 